It all says I'm recording here. Am I there yet? <laughs> I'm going mad, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, Maria, text me if I'm going live. <laughs> I know you're waiting. So, while well, I'm waiting for some kind of signal that I'm good, I'm going to stall anyway. <laughs> um, so, I'm making spaghetti alla carbonara. And I've been trying to do a live stream for the past half hour. What? I'm on. I have some kind of confirmation. I'm here. Hello. I finally made it. <laughs> so I'm making spaghetti alla carbonara, if I haven't said that five times already. Um, this is the first dish that I learned how to make in Italy. And by no means am I a professional chef. I'm a musician, and you ask, but Christopher, why aren't you playing music? Well, I'm a cooking musician. Why not? Uh, and I'm changing some things with what I'm cooking. I like to start with basic dishes. Like, I'm sure this is a pattern. Start with basic, basic dishes, and like, <laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> so, I'm adding some chicken, and... Instead of pancetta, unfortunately, I'm going to use bacon. But I did get some real parmigiano par Uh And I've already grated some of that up. And yeah. So those are some of the differences with what I'm cooking tonight from the traditional recipe. Um, and just some safety tips. Never leave the kitchen when the oven is on. Um, and I have all the ingredients here. Uh, it's always helpful to prep before you start actually cooking. Um, and then the one rule I have learned countless times is always read the recipe before you start cooking. <laughs> uh, don't... <laughs> I have these ingredients and combine. Oh. <laughs> uh, so. We're actually going to, like I said, maybe, I've, I've said this three times already. <laughs> there is the incorrect burner on anyway, again. Um, <laughs> and I have some salt water here, about half filled uh, in this pot. And we're going to, we put some salt in it. Um, want the pasta water to be salty. Um, some of that salt gets absorbed into the noodles, tastes good. Um, also, a trick I learned when I was in Italy. Um, and then I will boil that pasta. You want that pasta to get hot, and you want to have everything else ready to put in it. Because we're actually going to cook the eggs in the hot pasta. Um, and that's how you get your creamy sauce. Um, and yeah. So get that boiling, work on getting everything else. Uh, so I've been cutting some thin, thinly sliced chicken breast into bite-sized pieces. Um, and we're going to also add the bacon, some garlic, some salt and pepper, some olive oil, and some basil, because why not? Also not usually in the traditional recipe, but hey, I'm cooking, I do what I want. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to talk about like why, some of the reasons why I'm trying to figure out how to live stream. <laughs> um, making progress, I figure I'm never gonna start if I don't just go headlong into it, make the mistakes. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Um, so it's hard to cook and talk at the same time. Because, um, so I have some already minced garlic here, bought from the grocery store. Uh, but chopping garlic is also good. I said two cloves plus four cloves, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I say one scoop for one clove, that's probably extra, but garlic is good. Uh, so, garlic, olive oil, and the bacon, 
and I'm just guessing I wouldn't put in too much, just enough to get everything coded. I have some input, maybe. The screen was too high. Thank you. Oh, we'll just continue adjusting. There we go. Now you can see my pasta. Not my pasta, my chicken. Um, cheers. So, um, salt. Just season to taste. Gotta taste it while you're cooking. So we'll taste it in a bit. Decide. Needs more. Needs less. Oh. <laughs> uh, and some basil. Because why not? I am throwing some chicken in here. I want to give that chicken some flavor. Um, on top of the bacon. <laughs> um, where did the bacon go? It was just directly in front of my face. But I moved it, maybe. <laughs> I had things set up, and then I had to go through some tragic, catastrophic, why am I not live? <laughs> um, of course, we washed our hands. Uh, about... What did I say? A half cup? <laughs> so... As much as you feel is appropriate, add more, add less. But not too much less because it's like part of the actual recipe. Um, so I got all that in the skillet. We're gonna just put this here. Uh, on medium high heat and we'll stir that occasionally. Um, while that's happening. Uh, let's mix. Beat the eggs. So we've got two eggs. You want to crack the egg on a flat surface. Apparently if you try to do it on the edge of a bowl or something like that, one, the bowl could go flying. That's no fun. Well, maybe. Depends on who you are. Um, and then you get eggshells in the food, and you can get them out, but like, why get them out if you don't put them in to begin with? Um, what do you know? We're getting some boiling water. So that's gonna start doing its thing. Um, by the way, other than um, the taste, the salt helps the water to start boiling faster. Um, so that's fun. I'm a physics kind of guy. Uh, let's see, so I shredded that Parmesan. And again, I about lost my mind and moved everything. <laughs> uh, I lost my cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Found it. Okay. So about a cup of Parmesan. Uh, and take a fork. You can just whisk those eggs. I hope that my mic is working well and you can hear me. Otherwise you look I look like crazy. <laughs> uh, so add the parmesan to the cheese. Mix that together with some salt and pepper. And this will be your sauce and it will be very creamy and wonderful and delicious. So I hear the sizzling pan behind me. I should stir that up a little bit. Um, get it to cook evenly. And we'll take that, we'll just cook it because it'll get done before the spaghetti. Um, if you want to use a different kind of pasta, why not? Um, typically it's made with spaghetti, it kind of clings to the, the long noodle. Um, but I like rotini. I might not make this, actually this might be good with rotini. I love rotini. Um, they're the little, um, the little ones that are swirly. They're really fun. And they catch more of the sauce. Um, so that'll be our sauce.
the water has started boiling. Uh, so you want to add the spaghetti to the boiling water at this point. And then you'll let that cook for about 20 minutes, but there are various tests you can do to see. Um, and you want to get the pasta al dente, which is not totally soft. Um, not crunchy, but you have a little bit like, like a kind of a crunch, but not. Oh, these rules, let's see. The pasta is in this one. I'm like this when I'm not being recorded too. <laughs> Where did I put it? Ah! There goes the spaghetti. So, take as much as you think you may need for the family and the dogs. <laughs> Happy dogs this evening. So, and of course it's not gonna fit very well in the pan. So break it in half over the pan. Try to catch those flying shards of spaghetti in the pan. And try not to step on all the spaghetti that you spilled, because then you have more mess. So there's are, there are actually some nifty spoons that you can get where you can measure. Um, <laughs> listen to me, nifty. <laughs> But they are nifty. <laughs> um, nifty spoons you can get that will help you measure out how much of a serving of pasta you need. So the pasta will be done in about 20 minutes. We'll be done cooking in about 20 minutes. Should be. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, so we're just getting that all to cook. We've already mixed that together. I'm, I'm almost basically just making an Alfredo, but the Alfredo sauce is a bit different, I think. I think there's more cream in that. Um, so, I mean, like recipes kind of branch off from each other. This is like that. This is how you do that. Um, let's see. So, while we're waiting for that catastrophe, um, we can cut some vegetables for the salad. So, again, I'm making kind of like a variation off of um, an Italian food that I enjoy, caprese. Um, just tomatoes, basil, mozzarella and olive oil with salt pepper tasty so put that in a salad i say i mean i've got some lettuce there um you can use spinach you can use kale uh you can use cabbage maybe maybe <laughs> uh there are some tricks for some boiling water if you're afraid it's gonna overflow uh, of course, turn it down. <laughs> uh, or put a wooden spoon over it, that'll help keep it from boiling over. Um, if you have it covered, that'll also encourage it to boil. Um, so uncover it if it's over, over boiling, boiling over, all the same, you know. Um, just keep an eye on the chicken. But let's chop up some salad. So I had to learn after a few times, oh, don't cut the entire vegetable because then it will make a mess. Um, I mean, all at once. If you want to use the entire vegetable, but please do. Um, but don't do it all at once. So I actually saw a video uh, describing how to make a tossed salad. And you would think you put everything together and you toss it. <laughs> There's a simpler way. Um, you're actually going to put things in layers. So you'll do a little bit of lettuce. You'll do a little bit of tomato. 
we'll do a little bit of red onion um, and then the mozzarella and all of that um, and then you'll just layer that in multiple sections lettuce tomato red onion and da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, and not all in just one layer of <laughs> that's what you think but no don't do that I'm going to do that right now do as I say don't do as I do I can't remember how many tomatoes I said. I have two out here. Usually I get Roma tomatoes. Um, but they didn't have any at the store. And it's concerning. Considering the times we're in. Uh, so. They also recommended cutting your vegetables in different shapes, I think. But I like cubes, like diced. I want to get everything in a bite. Some people don't. Some people like to have one big giant piece of tomato. Okay. Um, tomatoes are good, but I want some of that mozzarella. It's actually okay to leave chicken, vegetables, whatever, kind of just grilling in the, especially if you have a, an iron cast skillet. Um, you get a nice browning, and that tastes good. If you're my mom, you're going to let it sit there until it's black, because she likes burnt things, apparently. And so I give her all the burnt stuff. But I made this for you. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I did one tomato. I might be satisfied with that. Um, it's four of us eating tonight. I tried to include mom. She's doing this diet. I tried to include her, but she's like, no, I'll just do my own thing. Like, okay. Fine. So, it's been about 10 minutes. I think I'm going to go ahead and check the spaghetti. Um, it's probably good. So, go ahead, remove that from heat. Um, and actually, another Italian trick that I learned there, add oil to your pasta. It keeps it from sticking together. Just a little bit, just enough to get it all not sticking together. <laughs> So now I'll add in the cheese. I'm using a spatula, but this is very um, not normal. Uh, <laughs> Usually I'd like to use like that spaghetti spoon, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> so now you step on the spaghetti you forgot about, um, <laughs> and maybe you can see you got a nice sauce there.
so that's good. Go ahead and add that in. Mom will like this one. <laughs> uh, if she would have it. But there's a quick spaghetti alla carbonara uh, with some extra protein. Uh, So now we can finish the salad and I've got some cucumber here. So I've already sliced it in half um, lengthwise. So I've got these nice bite-sized pieces of cucumber. And I'm gonna throw those in together And then some red onion. So I like cooking with white onion. I feel like it's creamier, kinda. Um, but more so it's because red onion is kinda potent. Um, and so I like to put it in salads and I'm only using a quarter of a red onion. Um, Cause I mean, it, it's potent. <laughs> So try not to cut your fingers off and add that in. And then as close as you're going to get to mozzarella, mozzarella and Aurora. <laughs> uh, I should have opened this beforehand because slippery hands aren't good for opening mozzarella like so I might use the knife I'm about to use the knife I'm using the knife guys okay because I'm gonna use like half of this anyway so throw that in oh I'm going against my word, they're not bite sized. <laughs> Throw that in, put some olive oil on top. Add some basil. And I'd love to be using real basil, but this guy keeps trying to plant things in winter. I don't think he understands how gardening works. Um, so I've got just this, and of course, salt, and pepper. Slippery hands. <laughs> That's probably good. Anywho, so there's a caprese salad. There's your spaghetti alla carbonara. You've got a pretty quick and easy dinner. 20 minutes. Um, a lot of Italian food, uh, like how good it is, depends on the ingredients. Um, and also waiting. Um, so the longer an Italian dish takes, the better it is. <laughs> if you let those things simmer together, that's really nice. Um, and yeah, oh, and Parmigiano Reggiano, you can use Parmesan instead. Um, so the better you can get, the better it will be. So yeah, um, I'm trying to start doing this. I, I haven't done live streaming it before, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, and I have a little PayPal logo right there. Uh, so, if you feel comfortable, I am asking for donations. Um, I'm just getting started. If you liked it, like it. If you send me a, um, some donation money just to help me get back on my feet. I was supposed to be in Japan for five years, back in America, 
And I'm also uh, cutting out these trees. Uh, I'm working with a friend. He's teaching me how to use a bandsaw, do woodworking, make things. And so I've carved these out. These out um, and dad bought one and painted one and decorated it. Um, and a couple of my other friends have done that. And so it's really nice. I'm selling each of the small ones for $10 and these ones like right out of the log uh, for 15 um, For delivery, I'd have to add uh, onto that five bucks. Um, but otherwise, if you can come pick it up, it's 10 and 15 um, for each piece. So yeah, I hope, um, I certainly learned a lot. <laughs> uh, is live streaming supposed to be stressful? <laughs> Cheers.